this video we will cover alignment offsets which are also called offset alignments and offset alignments can be created in two uh, uh, different ways you can create an offset alignment by going to offset create offset alignment here at the create design panel home tab you can also select an alignment which is much easier and you'll see the offset alignment here at the contextual tab you'll see the offset alignment and you can just click on that and once, once you, you click on that, that the dialog for setting up the offset alignment shows up here the parent alignment alignment to offset form is road one and then offset name template will be the parent alignment and then the side and the offset distance so how the, the offsets will be named? They'll be named after the parent alignment, and then they will name the side, and then it'll name the, the offset distance. For, for the station range, these offsets will be created from the start to the end of the parent alignment. So how many number of offsets on the left and how many number of offsets on the right? For now, we just want one each, and we leave that at one. The incremental offset on left, incremental offset on, on right, we'll change this to a normal um, pavement size in Kenya, a normal pavement width, which is 3.5. And then down here, we can set up the site. We do not want these offsets on, a, on any particular site. Alignment style, we leave it at offset. Alignment layer, also at C road, that's okay. But if you want it to be in a different layer from the parent alignment, you can add it um, there. And create a new alignment layer. And then the lab label set, we do not want any labels on the offset alignments. Once we've set up everything correctly, just click on OK. And if I zoom in on this alignment, escape, you can see the offset alignment, <coughs> 3.5 on the left, 3.5 on the right. And one interesting fact is that these offsets are dynamic to the parent alignment. Let me just demonstrate what I mean. For example, if I was to reduce this radius or if I was to increase the radius you see the offset alignments are dynamic to the parent alignment the geometry is updated when you change the geometry of the parent alignment. All right. And that's how you create offset alignments.